Well, the FBI is expanding its investigation into a batch of envelopes that were laced with fentanyl. Now, those envelopes were sent to election facilities in at least five different states just two days after Election Day. ABC's Melissa Don has the latest. The FBI says several envelopes that tested positive for the potentially deadly substance fentanyl were sent to election offices in Spokane, Washington state. At least one additional letter was sent to a ballot counting center in Fulton County, Georgia, and authorities say it came from the same batch of letters sent to Spokane. The election offices in both states have been evacuated. Hazmat crews and police descending on the ballot counting center in Spokane. Officials there saying the substance inside the envelopes tested positive for fentanyl. But in another case, the powder was baking soda. They brought it to me. Uh, we notified the proper authorities. The building was evacuated. Police in Tacoma, Washington say there was a message inside one envelope received by election workers that said something to the effect of stopping the election. In Georgia, officials warning election workers there to take precautions when handling mail after intercepting the suspicious envelope sent to the Fulton County election facility. This is domestic terrorism and it needs to be condemned by anyone that holds elected office and anyone that wants to hold elected office anywhere in America. The discovery delaying some vote counting in both states. Officials say no one was injured in Fulton County or Spokane. The Justice Department says the FBI and U.S. Postal Inspection Service are investigating. But we want to make sure that people understand that election security is our highest priority. Election officials in Oregon say a suspicious piece of mail was also received in that state, which led to the closure of some election offices. That incident is also under investigation. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.